Jamie's going to check out if there's a Sasquatch behind that, that stump. Because he says it's a perfect hiding spot. <laughs> Can you get up there, Fatso? <laughs> Nothing like good old forest terrain just makes you feel like a fat ass no matter how good a shape you're in. Yeah, yeah, no, totally. Mushrooms, yes, don't eat them. <laughs> you come back, I saw a Sasquatch, I saw a Sasquatch. It's like, yeah, if you eat the mushrooms, I think you'll see a lot of things. <laughs> ski it down, Jimmy, ski it down. <laughs> it was just nothing but cracking and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Train the muscles, not the joints. So welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding, and today I'm outside uh, the town butcher here just getting some uh, duck sausage, some turkey and some chicken breasts. But one thing I wanted to talk to you a little bit about today is about whether you are eating enough. Now so many people they look at their macros, they look at their calories, they look at all these things on a chart somewhere that they got on the internet and they say okay this says I'm hitting the right type of calories to maintain my body weight. But the fact is is that what the gym is telling them and what their energy levels are telling them and what their body is telling them based on what's happening might be opposing the information that they're getting. So. For instance, somebody else might be able to maintain their body weight with 2,500 calories to 2,600 calories, and then another person might be losing weight even though they might be at the same body weight. So the fact is you have to take in a lot of variables in order to understand how many calories you're burning a day or not. I find it more helpful to concentrate on how you feel. So one sign that you're eating enough is if you are feeling full, meaning not stomach full, but you're feeling like your muscles are pumped or puffy in some way. And I found that if I chase that feeling, then I know that I'm in an anabolic state or a positive nitrogen balance state. Now Garrison Bai, one of my patient supporters, he just talked about how he increased the amount that he was eating and he actually put on about 10 pounds over the last four or five weeks. That's just the way it works. If you're not eating enough, your body, no matter how perfect the training program, you will not be getting results. So I just talked to somebody as well in a session or a consultation and basically we just talked about how much should he be eating and he said he's eating about a gram per pound of body weight for protein and the fact is he said he's not feeling pumped, he feels like he's not necessarily getting results. So I said, hey, why not experiment? Why not increase the protein for a bit? Why not do a gram and a quarter? Uh, per pound of body weight. So say you're a 150 pound lean body mass guy, then eat 200 grams of protein a day and see what happens. And I find a lot of people are afraid to experiment with their diet because they're afraid of getting fat. But if you start putting on a lot of body fat, well, maybe keep the protein at the same level, but then cut the carbs down a little bit. Or maybe cut the fat down a little bit but don't get rid of the protein because the protein might be where you are getting most of your results. Maybe that protein is helping your body actually recover. So can there be too much of something? Yeah, there always can be too much, but find out what is actually working first. So don't be afraid to experiment with your diet. And sometimes you might be thinking you're eating enough, but your body's telling you you definitely aren't. So sometimes adding that extra meal a day of protein and carbs and some green vegetables can do wonders for you when it comes down to your training in the gym and all of a sudden you're not arguing about how many sets is the perfect amount of sets or how much weight is the perfect amount of weight. Sometimes the same training program you've been doing for years all of a sudden starts working just because you've eaten enough. That's why I'm here at the Town Butcher, making sure I have enough protein to eat. And I, I try to get that protein and carb, protein and carb, and then I'll throw in a couple protein shakes a day. So some of you guys are asking what supplements I use, mainly protein powder and branched chain amino acids. And I just picked up some glutamine because I find glutamine is actually really good for recovery as well. So uh, these are the main supplements I'm using and I'm also using a multivitamin and uh, I might be getting a link at some point to share with you guys what multivitamin I'm using. If you guys want to support the channel, you can decide to use that multivitamin if you want. But a good quality multivitamin is definitely necessary because the thing is, is that when you're eating a diet, you're not necessarily getting uh, the perfect platform or the perfect profile of all your nutrients. Sometimes you're eating a diet and, and maybe it's getting you your protein, maybe it's getting you your carbs, maybe your essential fats are in there, 
but not necessarily uh, enough magnesium, for instance, or maybe enough of some antioxidant or some vitamin. I find it's also helpful to have a little bit extra vitamin C in your diet as well. Vitamin C is really important just because vitamin C helps bind tissue together. It's good for ligaments, tendons, teeth, gums, you know, all these things. So if you're not getting enough vitamin C, you will, you will notice that you might not necessarily be recovering or you might have muscle soreness for an extended period of time. So if you're one of those people that gets excessively sore, try upping your vitamin C and see if that helps. This could be like a super awesome tip for you. The other thing is, if you're getting chronic muscle knots and chronic muscle pain or aches, you know, you're getting that achy feeling in the body all the time, get some liquid magnesium and up your magnesium and see if that helps. Because I went magnesium deficient a while ago and as soon as I upped the magnesium again, then my body felt perfectly great. So these are a couple things for you to experiment with. But again, it goes to show that deficiencies in nutrients can happen in the body. And sometimes just one nutrient going off can totally throw your body into a, a weird spiral, right? So you want to make sure that you're covering your bases there. So anyway, I hope this helps you out with your training. Make sure you eat enough. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, if you need to get home, just go to naturalandbodybuilding.com and take care for now. And thanks a lot to the patient supporters. These people are great. Thanks guys. Cool. Oh, shit.